Hi guys! Okay, so this is a little untraditional from my normal lupus um, chats. But since having lupus, since discovering I've had lupus, um, my hair was a lot thicker, a lot fuller. Um, and it's thinned out, it's been a mess. It doesn't look like it right now, it definitely has done. It took me a while, but I grew hair back. Um, I've had a real sensitivity with my hair where I can't even comb my hair without crying. It's really bad because of some of the medications I've been on for years. Uh, so, you know, my hair is pretty nice, pretty nice length, pretty nice as far as full and thick, but it wasn't always this way. When I first um, was going through with going through ordeals with lupus, I lost some of my hair. It was thinning really bad, and I started to wear wigs. So I developed this passion, or not a passion, it's not a passion. I developed this love for wigs. And I, you know, I can wear my real hair out, no problems, but I love my wigs. So unlike most people, most people um, know how to, and I give them all props, I love those, but I can't do them. The full lace with the frontal and everything like that, I don't know how to do that at all. But I do know how to work with the synthetic half wig. That is my jam. So today I'm going to show you guys how I get up and go with my synthetic half wigs. I am going to do a review of a wig that I just bought. I saw it when I was in the store in New York and I was like, ooh, this is cute. So um, I ordered it and I'm going to try it, see how it goes. The wig is um, called Skylight. I did not get this color. I definitely got a number two, which is my hair color. Um, but it's a um, straight half wig. We're gonna see how it looks. So in order to make sure the wig sits correctly, I put on, I wrap on my hair and you see I'm using a brush because my head is so sensitive, a comb will kill me. So I wrap on my hair, and this is not a perfect wrap, don't judge me. <laughs> I wrap on my hair, sometimes I braid it, I can do like cornrows underneath, but when I'm in a rush, like if I'm late for work or something, I just wrap my hair, I grab my wig cap, And I set my wig cap on my head, like so. Then I grab my comb, and I lift the wig cap just a little, and I'm going to part out as much hair as I want to leave out. Um, when it's a straight wig, because my hair is straightened, I have a baby relaxer, and I can't go natural just yet. Give mad props to the women who can. I wish I could. I'm trying to work on it. I'm going there. But I cannot comb my hair. It would be dreads. No lie. So, anyways, my hair is um, straightened. So, I part where, how much I want to leave out. Sorry, guys. I got to use the mirror for this. And my part is not always exactly straight, just depends on how much I want to leave out um, completely or if I want more on one side or something like that. And if you don't get your leave out section the way you want it the first time, it's not permanent. You could take off the big and put it back on and leave more out. So this is how much I want to leave out. And then... Oh, she looks so fresh. Ew. So, I always, when I first get my wigs, look and see what they're working with on the inside. The cap looks really good and the adjustable straps here. So adjust it to the size of your head. You might need to play around if you've never really worn a wig or if you're not really sure. Just play around with the size. I always go close to the middle. I have a smaller size head. Um, and then there's combs in the front and combs in the back. I don't particularly use the, use the combs in the back because I don't want it to pull on my back part of my hair. That's where your kitchen is, you know. I don't want all the BDBs getting in there. I leave that out. 
the only comb that I use is the comb in the front to hold this part so I put my wig on like so take these combs to the front here pull this over as I said I'm not putting the combs on the back I'm just securing it and if you tighten your straps to where it needs to be it's tight on your head you don't actually need those combs you won't need them at all so now the wig is sitting nice on my head and I take my comb and I comb it back like this comb it all the way back make sure your hair is in there and blend it in and then you do your baby hairs how you want to or if you don't want to do baby hairs or whatever but I take I use pure honey um cream of nature edge control it's not the best maybe but it smells really good so anyway I put a little to blend like inside the hair just like where my hair touches and meets the wig and I just smooth it down and then I'm real simple and basic with my edges, so don't judge me. I just take the corner and swoop it like that. And then take my little edge right here, swoop it like that. Do the same thing on the other side. On the other side, I just swoop it like that. And then I just swoop it like that. And then I typically use a toothbrush or a comb. Sometimes I'll use my comb device and just comb this down. Thanks to my boo Hannah who showed me how to really, you know, swoop it down with a comb. If I'm in a rush, sometimes I use um, a brush. It's not as cute. Your edges aren't as cute, but um, gets the job done. And sometimes even when I use my comb, I still go in and kind of just brush it to make it more smooth. But that's just my process. You don't have to do all that. All right. So now your edges are done. I typically, if I'm not in a rush, like if I'm not running out the house, will put a wrap on my head. Put my wrap on my head just to kind of hold down my edges and hold down the wig. Um... But I'm a swoop to the side kind of girl. So you can wear it like this. It's still cute. But I always take from the side and bring it over. And it just gives a more natural um, lay. So then you have this look going on. Yes. And if you have little hairs in the front that stick up, you can always go back in with your edge control and kind of just pull them down a little bit. Um, and you could do it to the other side. You can flip it any way you want. Um, the best thing about a half wig is you wear it where you need to go. When you get home, you flip it right off and wrap your normal hair up. Go to bed. <laughs> so that's it for my tutorial. Um, but I was just doing that for you guys, my loopies who might be struggling with hair loss or just like wigs, like me. Um, and you just want to wear them sometimes instead of your real hair. Sometimes it's a lot to do your real hair. And this is a quick and easy fix. And you can just put it on and go. Thank you for watching.